Hello everyone and welcome to Counselor Future Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're gonna talk about dashboard configuration, specifically how you can create groupings of dashboard widgets as well as how you can change around the order of the dashboard widgets that are already on your screen. Now it's important to note that the dashboard is your dashboard. Right? If you make changes to the configuration or the groupings, you are the only one that will see that change. So you can experiment, you can move things around to find the configurations that are most convenient for you. What we'll do first is we'll look at how to reconfigure uh, dashboard widgets that are already in place. So for example here, let's jump over to this grouping of appointment related dashboard widgets. If I would like to remove one or more of these, or if I would like to reshuffle them, what you first do is just click up here towards the top right on the configure widgets option. That will bring open a pop-up that will show you the current order um, of the dashboard widgets in that grouping. And so you can move these around. Of course, you could change the order. Um, if you, by the way, happen to have more than one that are the same number. It's okay. Council will just sort those alphabetically. Uh, you know, it's best if you do sort, you know, uh, not duplicate numbers so you have a better control over what goes where. Um, but if you happen to leave a duplication, that's fine. Um, now, of course, you could extend this beyond one grouping. So if you wanted to include a, a dashboard widget for something completely different, perfectly fine. Right. So while we have this group, we're talking specifically about um, appointments, you can use any widgets that you want. Now, it's also important to note that you have a limit of nine dashboard widgets per view. OK, now, once you've made your changes, you can go ahead and click save and you'll see the screen refresh and it will have reshuffled, removed, added new, whatever changes you made uh, to uh, this this grouping. OK, so that's how you very quickly rearrange what's currently there. Uh, if you want to add a new grouping, you simply click on the plus symbol off to the right. That is where you can add a new dashboard or what I call a view. Uh, and then once again, you can title this whatever you want. So you could have something that just makes sense to you. And maybe it's your top most common widgets. Right. The ones even if they're different topics, they're the ones you need to see most readily. So you create your own um, uh, topic that reminds you of that, right? Uh, and then you can go through and you can start selecting potentially, like I said, even across different topics, whichever ones you wish to add. Um, now you may find that certain dashboard widgets are not available to you that are available to other people within your organization. And that's based on your se the security settings uh, within your, your user profile. So if you find that perhaps aggregate business data is not uh, available for you, uh, that just means that your security settings do not allow it. Uh, if you do determine that it's needed, you wanna talk to administrator within your clinic uh, to get your security settings changed uh, to make those uh, visible. Because uh, once your security settings are changed, you'll have access to those widgets. Okay. Uh, but point being is you can go through, select, once again, the widgets that apply. Let's just grab a couple more here. And when you're finished, you have one last option. You can also decide to open widget links in a new window. That means that if, let's say, you are looking at the dashboard widget for repaired devices, when you click the link, it will launch a new tab and you would see you go to that device profile or the, you know if a claim you'll go at a launch new tab so if you want to keep the original dashboard as it is and then launch whatever action is in a new tab you can actually do that by simply selecting this option if you don't want that uh, then you of course leave it unchecked uh, so i'm going to go ahead and save this and now we have the new view with the widgets that i just added right once again this can be modified by clicking on the configure widget option up here to the top right. So hopefully you take advantage of you know, realigning your dashboard widget so the information is readily available and convenient for you. Please let us know if you have any questions, give us a call, email us, live chat with us. We're always happy to help. And as always, thank you for joining for Counselor Future Friday and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.